Hello everyone. Today we are working on a very special set for a very special show. It's called Magic in Miniature Part 2. The concept, there's gonna be four more of these, including this one, which I'm gonna finish right now. And it's gonna be all five colors of mana on the back of these treasure tokens. So I'm stoked. Let's do it. All right, 3D printer, let's see what you've got. It says it's complete, and we have pieces. All right, hold on. Do, 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 do. Big reveal. Cool. That looks really good. Let's try this again. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so we decided that we wanted a better setup for documenting all the art. And Clifton came up with this amazing setup. Thank you, thank you. So we'll just dedicate a cinema camera to exactly. <laughs> this art last because we have several. Yeah. <laughs> also, pardon the uh, active production space mess, uh, but you know, active production space. So. Clifton's doing his mad scientist thing. With my Dexter's lab gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> we have a little manta ray. That is so dope. With his little tail and everything. I'm so excited, oh my god. I'm gonna give him a rinse in, in the bath. Also, that is a <laughs> proprietary blend of resins, so it's a semi-translucent gray. Dude, I know, I saw you mixing those. Yeah, so it's got it's got skin like a like an ocean creature. Dude, thought into everything. Yeah. That spins up and creates a cyclone that rinses the print. It has a UV, a UV diode sort of grid mm -hmm. uh, that will also spin the print and, and cure it with ultraviolet light as well. It's another day here at the Star Sieve. Enterprise. Sieve. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude. Dude. This is so Let's make boring. some toys. Let's make some toys. Make some toys for you guys. Toys for you. Guys, I am like so jazzed about specific. I think this one, it's so hard to pick a favorite, but like, come on with the sunglasses of Urza. Oh, it's just and, then, really and, then cool. I get, and then I get the closet and bust out our yeah. sunglasses <laughs> and that we have. I want to see how these actually look on me. In addition. Oh my god. <laughs> I know it's awesome. In it's addition crazy. to the card. Yeah. Yes. Are, you went and found that right away. Nerds that, nerds that have everything. Nerds that have everything. <laughs> so that's uh, what we've got going on here. My head got cut off in a lot of that. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. The DP says it's fine. I found it. Wait, oh, my deck box. That's my deck box. We're gonna go ship out this custom ultra play mat. Not, <laughs> not that weird, I mean, because <laughs> no. of a juxtaposition that didn't look great. I'm gonna continue working on these freaking, I love this set. I'm, oh, I, yeah. I wish I didn't have to sell these because I kind of <laughs> want them for me. <laughs> also, oh my God, can I, can I show? Yeah, yeah. The amazing, there we yeah. go. There he is. It's Chibi Cloud. Chibi Cloud from OGF7. From OGF7, it focused on me again, but oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. He's so cool. He's so awesome. We should do one in all his little poses. 
where he's like, uh, yeah, the shrug. The shrug. Yeah. Ah! I'm going to see if the most recent stress test and thingamajig came out. Oh, it looks like a dead. Six hours later, we have a much bigger manta. Also, wow, that is wild that the scaffolding didn't hold that well, but let's get this guy cleaned up and check him out. Okay, so it is not without its flaws. Much larger and certainly promising, so we will continue to do battle, but we are getting prints consistently out of the printer. Just a question now of getting the scaffolding right and all that other good stuff. It's feasting time! That's what I always think of when I think of it's update time. I'm going to murderize you! <laughs> to murderize you! Okay, it is the next day, and a very cute thing happened. And there's Clifton. He's a very cute thing that, all, that just happened. As I was working on these, I was taking some like progress shots and I sent a picture to my mom and she fell so in love with this one that she was like, please, can I have dibs on it? I, I wanna buy it. So I ended up making a new one for the set and this is the progress of it. It's a little different, but I think it works really great in the set of all of them. So, huzzah. Clifton right now is setting up the documentation station. station. I'm very fond of the red mana girl. I put Blood Moon behind her. And then I was thinking of what to do for the black mana girl. And Clifton had the amazing idea. I was like, what should I put on her shirt? And he's like, dude, you should put the pentagram from Unholy Strength, which got infamously censored in the 90s. And I was like, that's genius. That's what we're doing. Gonna keep working on these and see you when they are done. Finally done. Here they are. So, gonna head to Gallery Nucleus now. I sound so tired. <laughs> and then, I, and then, you know, more painting when we come back, cause mm -hmm. we have magic con commissions to do. Yes, so, indeed. I'll miss these. Although they're gonna end up in really cool frames that Donnie got. So. Oh yeah. Drop off complete. Drop off complete. Yeah. Now. Now. Is an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try something new for the lightning bolt altar this time. The request was to accentuate the foliage and background elements, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, mystical dispute is in the background. <laughs> Here we go. Meanwhile, Clifton is perfecting his setup for documenting these. We got some amazing shots of the, uh, oh, yeah. of the pieces for the show.
Okay, this is the last painting for the week and we have much more painting coming up next week. I'm excited. We're doing the last wave of the Magic on Chicago commissions. Then we're gonna open commission slots back up. So if you want to be the first to know about that, definitely sign up for our newsletter because that's where we're gonna have the most up-to-date information and definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you guys. We'll see you next week.